nothing like attempted adultery in Islam. Aisha Yusuf tell Malam Erufai. Following the charging of the husband of Aisha Mercy Yakubu, the owner of Asha restaurant over attempted adultery, a vocal and prominent human rights activist Aisha Yusuf has waded into the matter, saying there is nothing like attempted adultery in Islam and that adultery is one of the most difficult things to prove. You would recall that the hotel in question was slated to hold a sex party whose flyers circulated on several social media platforms last week. Indications would later emerge that the said hotel was actually a restaurant with the restaurant owner Aisha Masi Yakubo, saying the demolition of the structure without a prior notice had caused her to lose her one month pregnancy. Aisha Yusuf, a practicing Muslim herself, while reacting to the decision to charge the PDP spokesperson on her verified Twitter handle, had written, There is nothing like attempted adultery in Islam. Adultery is one of the most difficult things to prove. Even if you find a man and woman naked in bed, it is not adultery. It is only adultery when for upstanding members of the society see them with the penis inside the vagina. To you, our dear readers, what do you think about what Aisha Yusuf said in her latest tweet? Thank you for listening to this news. Aisha Yusuf is very much right she's very 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 right see i don't know malam erufai and the way he judge his own thing erufai to me is not supposed to be a nigerian because he's becoming too holier too holier than than islam itself that's how he behaves to me. I don't know of what um, of you, but that's how I feel. You understand? That the like, that an hotel is um, is taken as mm -hmm. a venue to hold a sex party doesn't give you the right to go and demolish that uh, that hotel. What you can, you, what you should do as as a governor of the state, who really, who uh, is, uh, who is really, who really, who is um, actually uh, claiming to um, to have his people at heart, or who is claiming to um, to be showing so much interest on his people, is to go over there and make sure that any a thing of such is not held in such an hotel and place a ban. It is even better to close down the hotel than to demolish it. Then you cannot place a fine, a fine that will make the hotel never to repeat uh, or allow any such to be uh, to be held in its uh, hotel. You understand? So I see that it's a complete destruction. It's a complete destruction. And um, I uh, and um, Malam Erufai should be uh, should be should be charged to court for that. Because he as a person who is really good at charging people to court. He is very good at that. I remember when it was called um, a small bed. I know what um, what he actually did to the person that called him such a name. I know what he did. So it, it, it was charging to court. I don't know. Is the, the, the Sharia law in a in Kaduna does it uh, call for such an arrest? 
such a demolition to say he doesn't he doesn't this is Aisha Yusuf quoting right from the Holy Quran making the Muslims the Islamics to understand that there is nothing of such in uh, in the Holy Quran at attempted adultery giving you a perfect definition of it even if it uh, the definition try to sound raw but that is just the humble truth that's just the humble truth you know we as human beings we don't like hearing the truth and that's our problem when we are told the truth it becomes a problem to us yeah it becomes a problem and that is the person of malam erify he doesn't like hearing the truth but it's very important very very important look at what he has cost in one of the hotel okay now that he has demolished it as the party is held as the party held you can it's better you suspend the party lock up the hotel find them for allowing such party to be held uh, in the hotel than calling for the demolition of the hotel what you you know that you cannot take don't don't allow such person another person to to pass through it if it was your your relative that owned such an hotel i would um are you going to take such a step if that woman for adventure is your relative will you take such a step i dare you you will never do that and you won't even want to do that it's an assurance you won't even pray to do that you won't even want to do that the only thing you will do is to call that your relative to order, advise him to take off such and such a party in that hotel, and that is it. But because this person is not related to you, you have you took that uh, uh, such a step. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm telling you the truth, Madam Erify. It's completely wrong. You have offended for doing this, and I will tell you the truth. It is. A very wrong thing that you have just done. Look at the woman completely in depression. She has said it that your act has made her to lose a one month uh, pregnancy, which is true. True thoughts and many worries. You understand? So I believe in what people say. And not what people uh, claim, 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 claim they are. You understand? So, Madam Erufai, I suggest that you do um, everything humanly possible to see out to compensate, recompense, uh, uh, compensate to say the the woman. You understand? Because it's an offense, and what you have just done is inhuman. It's inhuman. And not, and not right. So please, my viewers, what's your take? Do it free to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.